Robert King is joining me now with West Texas Rehab, and we are talking the Stribling Art mm -hmm. Extravaganza. Yeah. We're getting closer and closer. It's here. It is. It's the 20th anniversary of the Stribling mm -hmm. Art Extravaganza. It's a lot of years. It is. It's just. It's such a great event that promotes local artists and artisans um, and benefits the West Texas Rehab Center. So it's just a great event that we just look forward to every year. And tell people if they've never heard, I'm yep. assuming they should have heard of it now if we're doing it 20 years, but what it is. So it's a, it's a really just a sale, it's an art sale, but it's also a show um, where these local artists and artisans, whether you've lived in the Concho Valley, you're born and raised here, um, that you're invited to participate. Um, you put pieces in that Proceeds, part of the proceeds benefit the rehab. Um, it's great because we have a young artist exhibit where we invite the high schools to participate. Yes. So we have some local high schools participating um, and showing some pieces. Which and is then so neat. It is. It's great just to see the up and coming talent that and really some of them are produces so out of this community. You know, they really are. And what a great way for them to have their work on display. Um, we have um, there's a, an invitation only event on Thursday night that these these are folks who buy art locally who you know artists. Can come out, talk about their work, and so it's a really good opportunity, particularly for these young artists, to come out yeah. and get their work seen. That's like their first taste yeah, at an maybe art so. show. Yeah, so. it's great, and it's nice because we have local schools that will come and tour, so it's great that we're featuring these local artists, and, and it benefits the rehab, but there's just this really um, great community component to it. We work with the museum partner with them. Yeah, I did. So, yeah, Their staff great. show and some of the girls were telling me that like the art pieces that they were showing were going to the extravaganza. Yeah, it is and it's just it's just a really great way to bring just the community together, the art community specifically, um, and then just to benefit the patients the rehab. And there really probably is something for everyone in every form of art Absolutely. and Absolutely, just different mediums and you know, we've got everything from just, you know, oil and acrylics and those types of things to um, clay and ceramics and just these beautiful pieces that these artists have um, have chosen to display at our art extravaganza. Do you know how really many great. pieces you have now? So right now we have we're going to be showing almost 300 pieces wow. lot in person and we've also added an online sale this year so we're using the hand bid app that we use for our telethon auction to promote extra pieces for these local artists so they've so got those an are opportunity completely so they're completely separate <gasps> so it's just more art for um, you know for the buying and just a really great opportunity for these artists to connect with an audience um, that you know the rehab has through telethon you know people log on they buy they yeah, bid on these they can do that items from anywhere for sure and so it's just a really great opportunity for folks to go on and buy art and um, that may not actually live locally um, and just really that great is crazy these you have artists. that many yeah. pieces so it's great. The 300 are just gonna be here well, we've got about 200 a little over 200 that'll show in the in the live show and then the rest online so it's it's great we're excited it's about really, it just are you seeing are the, all the art pieces like coming together so we this had week? check in today and oh so gosh. we've been up at the, it's, it's at the stables at Fort Concha it's actually at the commissary in the quartermaster building um, and so it'll be open to the public Friday through Sunday um, but the artists checked in today and just some of the pieces that came through they're just they're yeah you know, we see pictures of them before we um, before they show up and then um, when they when they come and to check in just to see them it's really great like, yeah, it's like just comes come to life it. It, it absolutely does <laughs> And if someone wants an art piece, is it they go and they see it like first come first serve? Or? It is. It's just like a sale. So if they want to come out Friday and, and buy, a you piece, can't outbid each other it, at no, the location. No, it's, it's not an auction. <laughs> it's, it's just an outright sale. So they can come and buy a piece and pick it up on Sunday. We like to hang, leave the pieces hanging through the weekend just because they're so great. We want people to see them. So, um, but yeah, the sales. Friday through Friday and Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 11 to 2, in the Fort Concho. It's at the Quartermaster and the uh, um, Commissary Buildings. And who gets to take part in the one on Thursday? So the sale, it's an invitation-only um, private party that we get to um, some of our patrons who've, who've bought before. Um, and so they just, really get so the first they get, look. They get the first look, and it's it's just a really neat way to get just artists and local um, community members you know, in a room who are ready to support the rehab. That is happening this Friday through Sunday. If you want to buy one of the art pieces and support West Texas Rehab, you can do so by going to the stables to check it out. Everyone stay tuned. I'll be back.